Boxy, boxy, burning bright in the forest of the night. What could be in there, Marty? I don't know. Woo! It's Big Boss, motherfuckers. It's Big Boss. This is Rich Stanton. I'm Marsh Davis. And we are back. Look at that. This is why this is the game of all time. Can I do anything else? Oh! Did you see that? I did see that. I was, I was, uh, yep. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Pure sex. What else can we do? I don't know, I feel like uh, introducing some guards to the box. We barely used the box in previous episodes. I barely used the box at all in my entire playthrough. Don't think uh, but I've used it successfully yeah, it's, once. It's the iconic item of this wonderful series. Hmm. I think it's very, very silly, Richard. Silly. It's magnificent. How do you feel about that? Like, I mean, you know, in some ways, the Metal Gear series uh, tries for realism and authenticity and it has these kind of big sober subjects and at the same time it's always constantly undercutting that stuff with just like the the most kind of slapstick farce mm. yeah well i i kind of think that's one of the things i really enjoy about it to be honest i think if it was too poor faced mm. like and you have to remember kojima isn't always the best at um writing good dialogue um I so the only way it's tolerable is to take the piss out of it, you mean? A, a little bit. I think the fact it helps him a lot that um, when he's being melodramatic about serious subjects, the game's also kind of undercutting itself at the same time. Mm. It never takes itself too seriously. So it's actually quite easy to forgive. Like, And also, I think it really helps him as a game. I mean, one of the things I like about Metal Gear Solid in this... Did you see that? <laughs> Did you see that? Very good. This is going to be so awesome. One of the things I like about Metal Gear Solid is that you can... Um, like, yeah, the box is stupid, but it serves a purpose. You know? Like, look at it. It's It's got a function in the game world. It's actually fun to play with. And uh, this guy's not going to believe his eyes. I'm going to bump into him with the box. Look at that. How could you not love that? talk. I mean, we literally crept into their base in a cardboard box and out we went. Oh dear, if only you had your cardboard box now, Richard. Maybe you wouldn't have been spotted. Oh, it's fine. Is it? Yep, just a box. So, just... what's the... What's the um, how does it work then? Is it, as long as you're stationary, they don't care? And uh, it has to be a particular kind of box in a particular kind of location, right? Yeah, I mean, they've, like, they've put desert camo on it <laughs> to kind of make the point. Um... Which I do find quite, you know, another thing that's quite amusing about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, there's also... Can I... I'm wondering if I can filter him without taking the box off. But I don't know if I can. Well, now may not be the time to experiment unless you want to um, pop some dudes. I think I do want to pop some dudes. Okay. I'm going to stick my head up when this guy gets close enough. Oh, he's stopped. Just a box? Nothing Amazingly, you yeah. can't see seem to see his unconscious mate and the dog next to this suspicious <laughs> oh, yeah. box. Well, there's a little kind of uh, mountain of rock. Mountain? Not really a mountain, is it? There's some rocks, is what I'm going to say. Oh, oh, my God. You don't even need to come out. Oh. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, how could you not like that? good. That is some next gen cardboard box stealth action. You know, the team at Ubisoft Montreal, you know, the Splinter Cell guys must be the Ubisoft Montreal that makes them? Anyway, they must be looking at this and weeping. You know, where does Sam Fisher go next? I know you're a Clancy fan, Marty. Wow, well, you know, the latest games haven't been very good, but uh... oh, I didn't mind the last one. But like, you know, that's a series where, you know, it doesn't really have a sense of humour. In no, my, uh, in no, definitely opinion. not. Yeah. Um, well, and, you know, it's the worst hmm. for it because the characters in, in in Chaos Theory, the characters in it have a sense of humour, some of them, but uh, the game as a whole treats its fiction extremely seriously. Oh, is he knocked out? Yeah. La 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 la. Nope. That box didn't move, mate. <laughs> I 
Oh. I think I can get them both. I'm just worried about the, the beam in front yeah, of his head. Yeah, it's the pillar. Oh no! Oh! oh! Disaster! This is terrible. Oh god. Oh, nice work. <laughs> oh god, they saw me though. I've just got to get this guy because he's the... Uh... Oh yeah. Well, that was annoying. Oh, I think you did very well. Yeah, it was just, I, I called it, I said the beam was going to be the problem, and sure I'm always enough. slightly annoyed um, that it docks you points for being spotted in situations where you know you can deal with it and remain in perfect stealth. Like, if you know somebody's going to spot you, and then you knock them out before they alarm anybody, and then you filter them, that should, it should be treated as a perfect stealth, right, I think, because, it, it, you know, the net effect of it was, was none, nothing mm. happened. But you know they still saw you, didn't they? That's but, not that's yeah. not what that's not but what your maybe, legend like, is based that on. That could be part of your plan. Maybe you wanted to scare him. <laughs> All right, Marty. <laughs> All right, we may be overanalyzing the <laughs> score system here. Um. So I guess the question now is, what are we going to do? Um. Oh, hello. Eliminate the armored vehicle unit too. Ah, we've already done that. I think we should do. I think we should do. A story mission, Richard. Oh, a story mission. I think we should do a story mission. This I is think. this is nothing to do with the fact that you're having trouble with the skulls, does it? Uh, well, I haven't played this mission yet. I just know from its reputation that it's meant to be a total shitburg. Um, so, blah blah blah. Oh, it's. Uh, I think it's in. Uh, it's in Zaire, so we need a pickup. Okay. Uh, we can do that. I wonder if there's anything interesting about this chopper, Marty. Anything new? Well, possibly nothing entirely audible. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, we've been using the, the custom music feature in order to get over the copyright restrictions that we felt we might face on other of the in-game music tracks. So we have a track we actually have the license for. Yeah, a bit annoying. Uh, all that stuff with YouTube, you know, when when the tracks in the game. If you're playing the game, hmm. it comes on. I don't know. Well, I've not heard of anybody's uh, MGS videos being taken down for it, but you know, better safe than hmm. sorry, eh? Where's that chopper, man? Ah. There he is. What a hero! Good old Where does that name come from, Pequod? I think it's from Moby Dick, isn't it? Ah, uh, of course. It's a ship. Because. You know, part yeah. of its extremely laboured metaphor at the beginning thing. of this game is uh, a Moby Dick metaphor. You can't even hear the music, Richard. No, you it's barely hear quite it. sad. Crate and crowbar theme tune drowned out by the sounds of those chopper blades. But look, I can still do my shoulder shuffle. Wow, that's uh, that, is, that is small consolation, Richard. There you go, yeah, I can you barely almost, hear it, really. It. Yeah, weird. Very Very sad. sad. I don't know why that is. Oh, I was about to fix it by just playing it into her ears, <laughs> but uh, Big Boss had to get in. No matter. Right, so we want to go to Zaire. Have mm. you developed the battle suit? No, I don't think so. Oh, Got a sneaking suit. Doesn't matter. Um, is, it, is the battle suit an evolution, the sneaking suit? Uh, the battle suit's just for fights, you know, when you know you're going into a mission and you're going to have a fight. Oh, uh, right. I think um, or maybe I've done it. I don't, I don't really remember. So, right. Well, let's just go into the only safe landing zone. It's been so long since I've done this mission, I don't remember much about it. I'm sure you'll do a fine job. Oh, there we go. Battle dress. Lovely. Head option, none. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Uh, so equipment. Uh, we've got a bazooka or two, I'm sure. That mm -hmm. could come in handy. So if we're dealing with the skulls, as I believe nice, we may be in this mission. Nice rifle. <clears throat> and uh, the old falcon bear guy. Eh? That's pretty saucy, Marty. All right, mm. take that. Secondary weapons. Uh, we're gonna want 
Isn't the woo going to be uh, useful to begin with? It's, I, had, I mean, I haven't played this mission, so I assumed it's like other missions where it, you think it's a normal mission and then it drops the skulls on you like a sack of hot shit. You're very, very wise, Marty. You're very wise. Wise indeed. Um, yeah, the skulls are going to jump out at us and uh, we're going to fight them. And they can be uh, real sons of bitches. So... The only reason I know that this this mission involves the skulls is because there's kind of a, a support group <laughs> among journalists that uh, that popped up just after the release of MGS. Oh really? And they're like, oh, this mission's horrible. And then somebody shared a video, and they're like, yeah, just just did the video walkthrough basically. What noobs? Wow. Uh, oh, we haven't got. Uh, I don't think we've developed the armament we need for him yet. Okay. Which is a bit annoying. The horse with the old battle dress. There he goes to get changed. Nice. I just I adore how they how they get the bullet shield on their eyes. Right, let's go. We'll go in in the morning, seeing as we're recording. We've got to uh, sort out your logo as well. You've still got the default DD logo. Yeah. Well, like I said, it's um, there was something very laggy about the. Um the logo menu system oh, right. in, in the game. Oh, I don't know if they might have fixed it with subsequent patches, but it was it was basically unplayable, uh, unusable uh, when it first released. Traitor's Caravan, that's the name of the mission. It is indeed. There he is. Richard Punish Stanton <laughs> in the flesh. Okay. So... That's the convoy. That escort unit should rendezvous with the target after leaving that observation post. Hurry after them. <laughs> Hurry, Richard. Well, I you will. don't have to. You can do anything you like. Don't listen to Kaz. He's a prick. Yeah, he is, isn't he? I, I think we kind of talked at boring length about that previously, though. Analysis complete. So, wh where? What? Where exactly is the bullshit here? Well, I assume you're not going to see it straight away. Yeah. It's going to be passing Analysis through there. Uh, well, I don't really know whether we want to do anything other than sit around and watch here. Where's our... Uh... Is there anything marked on the map incoming? <laughs> what? Well, it's this is time-honored technique. Oh, I see you're looking for cracks in the rock, are you? I was. I was wondering if I could climb up there and get a great. Uh... Oh, no need to climb. Oh, no need that. to climb. Lovely. That's a little. Uh... It looks like a precious herb to me. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Somebody's not a botanist. <laughs> so. Oh, what an annoying tree that is. I'm going to lie down just to feel like a real spy. <laughs> yeah, that is a really annoying tree. Is there something uh, in the watchtower? No, there isn't. Anything. Nope, nobody up there. Yeah. Oh, hello. It was just starting to scan someone there when I pulled away. Uh, maybe it was... Analysis complete. Oh, oh. we, we oh. just hadn't analysed him, even though we spotted him somehow. Uh... Right. Let's have a little look at our... So all that we know is that this thing we're going to take out passes through here. Do you think we should go and take out some of those guys? Why not? Yeah, why not? Just... Oh, there's one. Analysis complete. I mean... I'm just thinking of the Fultons, really. <laughs> I did worry I'd uh, made a, a crucial error there. <laughs> it's alright. Uh, I'm sure your mega armor saved you. La la la. I don't know if it makes any difference to um full damage. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, I haven't got my woo pistol, Marty. You were right. Oh dear. It's okay though. I think I can uh, nail these dudes. La la la. Just out having a crawl. Don't mind that rocket launcher in the grass, <laughs> lads. Perfectly normal. I mean, the thing is, what we were saying earlier about the cardboard box, like, everything in the game, even though it is a bit 
you know, aims for something realistic is ludicrous, you know, when yeah. you really think it's, about oh, it. Oh, of course, yeah, it's for extremely heightened reality mm. at the very least, isn't it? And also one of the things, I mean, this is a bit more of a, a fan's perspective than anything, but one of the things I really like about the Metal Gear games is watching him think about how he can keep the cardboard box in in a new game but use it in a clever way you know in a new way because the way you use the cardboard box in this is nothing like the way you use it in previous games oh right um i mean it's well you still use it in the sense you use it to hide but you couldn't pop out of the top of it mm. in previous entries um you couldn't throw it off you all that i think they spotted it yep what's he saying what's the deco saying Catch your way, you are. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, Where did the other one go? There he oh, there is. Is it him? I don't know. It is him. Popped. <laughs> Never waste opportunity to put a man on a balloon, Richard. Yep. Still haven't seen me, thankfully. I think they know they're gonna shoot her, don't they? Yeah. Sorry, I had to kill that guy. Well, that's right. I think uh, I think we can probably go relatively weapons three on this uh, on this playthrough. Yeah, you were right about the woo, though. Come on, mate. Come and have a look. So does the, uh, when their kind of, um, their triangle is, oh, oh I'm surprised he didn't uh, get distracted by your uh, decoy first. Nice one. He did, but um, one of the things about the battle dress. Oh, it's a bit more conspicuous. Yeah, yeah, it makes more noise than anything else you wear. Ah, uh, yeah, you can see why. Chunky as fuck. Is he looking my way? Yes, he is. You can just pop him. Yeah, he is, you know, m inclining me towards popping. Go on. Because he's, uh, I just hate going up there. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, he's fine. <laughs> nice. <laughs> now, that was some pro-level shitting, Marty. He will be very grateful to uh, receive medical attention at Mother Base, I'm sure. <laughs> la, 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 la. Perfect. <laughs> Is he going to survive the Fulton? 50%. Well, yeah. I hope his mother's got her fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah! Nice work. He made it. There's one noob left. Marty. You know where to go. He Bosh. knows where to go. Bosh. Alright, so... I guess we just stick around here? Locate the transport truck. Oh, crap. What? Was I supposed to interrogate them? <laughs> Whoops! Uh... All right. This is a very small. Well, you did interrogate one of them. He didn't say anything, obviously, but you know. There, there must be oh, like a, right. some documents around or something, right? I'm, I'm very glad that wasn't as massive an error as I initially thought. There must be an Intel document and somewhere. some lovely resources. Here we go. Get your iPad out. I droid, Marty. Get I'm, it right. I was making a joke it's, about, you know, it's important lore. The anachronism. I wish my iPad could do that. I'd, I'd scan everything. <laughs> cool. Okay. So, there they are. Which way are they going? 
Uh, oh, presumably going north, well, south yeah, of Michigan. I might actually chase them. I go to sea and then down, basically. Mm. And uh, as soon as I see them, I'm just going to launch into them. Okay. Uh, uh, what are you meant to be doing with them? Well, you're meant to be kind of um, stopping this truck. Stopping it? Or I thought you were meant to be um, doing Yeah, something. nicking it. Um, so the way I'm facing is the way it's going. Let's see if we can spot it. Any sign, Marty? Not well, we did probably spend too long at that place, actually, so... Uh, let's head... Wouldn't it be uh, marked moving on the map? No, I guess not. No, we just know it's route. Oh, Alright, yeah. just to be on the safe side, I'm going to head, head there. Yeah. I assume it probably stopped at one of the larger settlements here anyway, right? Well, I just don't know. Oh, do you have any zebras? I do have a couple of them. I right. plugged a couple uh, in the last session, I think, didn't I? Well, that's lucky because I don't have any uh, tranks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, our zoo would not, uh, not appreciate zebra meat. But is it just a flesh wound? <laughs> Hmm. All right. Hello. Whoa. <laughs> oh. They are. Huh. New soldiers. The plot develops. Yep. They're pretty heavily armored too. Can't just pop them in the head, then I guess. Uh, I can shoot them through the visors, but do you not want to Fulton them, Marty? Oh no! I mean, if if you uh, if you reckon, yeah. I assume they'd be woo resistant anyway, right? Uh, with the helmets, yeah. Put some smoke grenades near that guy. And him. Lovely. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, they got up pretty quickly, didn't they? It's fine. Now that they know we're chasing them, the target will make an end run to its destination. Hurry up and find that truck. Shut up, Kaz. So one left, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, he's alright. More susceptible to smoke than being stunned. Then let's just see if he can. Where are your friends? Oh, he had a rocket launcher. Same one as us. Ah. Into the sky. Into the sky. And then... Join my army. Let's stick these guys in the jeep. Uh, do we... Yeah. I was going to suggest chasing in the jeep, but actually... Uh... I am going to chase in the jeep. Oh, really? <laughs> yep. Oh. Right. Okay. Alright. Maybe not. They don't seem to be... Uh... As vulnerable as the soldiers we've had so far. What if he wakes up? Will he wake up when he's in the back? Well, I guess we'll find out, Marty. Okay. <laughs> Can you shoot somebody if they're in the back of the truck while you're driving? Uh, I don't know. No. It'll be fine. Ah, oh, they. Hyenas? Yeah. Foxes? Hyenas, I think. I've got a couple. Whoa! <laughs> right. Where are we guessing that the convoy is? Oh, well, there's a, a monster there, but you put that, right? Yeah, but it didn't pass there, you know? I mean, unless it's gone past there earlier? Hmm. I'm thinking it's still down here somewhere. Let's have a look, okay? Yeah, why not? 
I am quite curious about this stun guy. I know Kaz said. Um, oh, I know Kaz said that. Uh, now that they know that we are chasing them, but they didn't. Oh, Whoa. right now they do know <laughs> for sure. So, fucking hell! Oh well, okay, you won't be fooling that guy then. Oh fuck, he's still alive. Oh, <laughs> he was still alive. <laughs> oh god, this is no. I remembered this at all. I thought as soon as you got close to them, the. Uh... Right. Is that him? Oh, son Ooh. of a... Son of a gun. Boss come, in. Boss, come in. I'm right here, Kaz. I lost because I'm a noob. Okay. So... Well, we know that it's, it's still back behind us and that, uh, and yeah. that stuff went, so... I mean, getting rid of these guys, I assume these guys are going to join the convoy. So, it's probably going to be worthwhile getting rid of them, right? Yeah, definitely. Um... Come on, you noobs. Right, so that's him. You got a flamethrower, Richard. That's uh, not for us, that's for D-Walker. Oh, yeah. Kept you waiting, huh? Is what yeah. you're saying. Right. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> right. So they know I'm here, but they haven't seen me. Oh, come on. I'm tense, Richard. This is exciting. What's going to happen? <laughs> Who knows? Well, we've already taken these guys once. I'm just wondering mm. if I can do it without getting spotted. Well, smoke seemed to um, do them a treat, didn't it? I don't think uh, the stun grenade was as, uh, as potent. Bonk. How dare you destroy my effigy! Which <laughs> <laughs> that one's not um not neither of them incapacitated, I think. Yeah, where did the smoke grenade that went near him go? Do they ever just malfunction? Are there ever duds? Uh, not not to my knowledge. Oh, they both fucking escaped, the wankers. I like the idea of having these these uh, decoys which are actually just kind of motivational dummies just spouting <laughs> <laughs> positive aphorisms. Don't give up hope. Tell you what, that ridge Be your up... best self. <laughs> that ridge up there hmm. looks like a nice uh, kind of pause spot. I bet you could block a lot of uh, missiles down from there. Have a lie down, mate. Oh. How is this guy not fucking stunned? Ah, oh, oh, God. Right, what I was saying was uh, that ridge up there. Yeah. Looks like it'll do us nicely. Um, yeah, I, th I thought that stun grenade was right in front of his face. Um, and then I couldn't quite get my gun round on him. But maybe there's some kind of stun resistance. Do you reckon you'll be able to get up to that ridge line in time? Yeah. Right. Ah, lovely. The old C4. Is this now? Is our C4 enough to take out tanks now? It's it's going to be enough to take out the first one, for sure. Um. And actually, I'm just going to pop a decoy there, so I can see it from a distance. So when they go... Over him... Will they not stop? 
Uh, no, when um, when it's like a mission convoy, if they see a decoy, they suspect a trick and they'll just run over it. All oh, right. So if I'm back here, yeah, don't know where I can get up there. What do the cracks look like that you can climb up when you? Uh, the only way I can think of to describe them is huge cracks. They're, okay. They're, they <laughs> oh, are easy. You, to you see. don't need them. Yeah, that's perfect. You're perfect. You're perfect, Marty. Um, and this C4 trap should be perfect. Everything's going well. What a lovely day. Um, and then we should be able to nail the um the second truck with our rockets, no problem. Mm -hmm. And then I'm. I think. When we go to attack the. Oh, there he comes. Yep. Oh, it's exciting. It's fucking exciting. Hmm. Okay, so. You ready to pop? Pop, buddy, pop, pop. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh, he just did the middle two, I think. Mm. Lol. Was it enough? Uh, yeah, that he's on fire, so he's going to blow up shortly. Yeah, I bet you're expecting. Oh. Oh, lovely. And he still hasn't seen us. Perfect. Is that enough? Yep. Yeah. Right. And what about go. this fucker? Come to me, magical teleporting horse. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that. What uh, what weapons can you fire from horseback? Not the bazooka then. No, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, Dios! Well, you know, it stopped it. <laughs> <laughs> I think my bond might go down. Oh, uh, here we go. Were you not impressed with my tactics? <laughs> that was brutal. <laughs> I stopped the truck. <laughs> oh, so these uh, don't look like skulls no more. They look. Oh, um, they've got weird things on their eyes, oh, haven't they? Oh, no, they look skulls. Oh, dear. What are you going to do with them? Oh shit. Objective complete. Hooray! Hooray! No, no reason to engage with the worst enemies in maybe any game <laughs> ever. Yeah. It's, it's really weird because, I, you know, okay, so Metal Gear Solid is the, the kind of the... The plot and the fiction has never really done it for me, and and so I expected the kind of narrative to be a kind of dud in this. But there's so much I like about it mechanically, and yet the skulls just seem like such a misstep, you know? Yeah. They're, I don't know, they're just kind of, I can kind of see what he was trying to do with them. Um, you know, like they're a little bit like the cyborg ninjas in the previous games, mm. and obviously the fact there's four of them and like they make weapons at their hands, it's a bit like the Matrix. Um, mm. and what, it, what is your plan here, by the way? I've called in the chopper. Will, will you be able to get out on that? I think he can't. I they just one shot you? Uh, I don't think they can one shot the chopper. Oh, you can shoot that from horseback. Uh, I've definitely escaped from them before mm. in the chopper. So no, I'm, I'm envisaging a scenario where uh, while you're trying to get in it, they uh, they just one of them turns up behind you and gives you a poke in the kidneys and you're gone. Yeah, but I've there's only three of them left now. Oh, two. I mean, I could just try and take them out if you want. Why not? Oh, they're fleeing. Oh no, they're not. I don't know. Oh, D horse again. Uh, okay, maybe that wasn't wise. Where is he? Oh, behind. Ah! Get in that chopper. Not like this. 
Uh oh. Oh shit! Why isn't Pequod doing some, you know, doing some hard work there? Ah! Here we oh, go. It's fine. You're right. Maybe. Can you die when you're in the chopper still? I think so. Uh, go Pequod! I took out two of them though, so I don't think they can shoot down the chopper. <laughs> Lovely! I think your body departed several times in that mission. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's pretty useful like that, D-Horse. <laughs> I, I can't believe you weren't more impressed with my I was, truck stop. I was stop. fucking horrified, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> he's not Jesus. a real horse. You're like fucking Findus. <laughs> Look at that. Lifesaver. Heroism <laughs> plus 30. This game knows what I'm about. B rank. Well, that's as good as you can get with the... I don't think the rank's important, Marty. I think what's important are those little arrows next to D-Horse's name. The bond went up. How did that How did that fucking make any sense? Because you, you got know, him run over and then you got him shot. Look, he, he's, a, he's a ruminant that's all about results. <laughs> 